Hi, I'm Will. I'm Norm. Welcome to Tip of the Day. Norm impressed me with something new that I have never heard before. I cross my arms. All right, no problem. Today's tip is actually an old photographer's trick. Yes. Can young photographers use this trick as well? Uh, yes, young photographers. Okay, so it's not can just for old. No, it's an old photographer's trick. Got it, okay. For photographers of all Good ages. So a couple weeks ago, I wrote a story about taking macro photography with the iPhone by using a water drop. You just put a drop of water on the lens and turn okay. the iPhone over and you take really close microscope photos. Today's tip actually involves using an interchangeable lens camera, whether it's a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. Okay. I have a mirrorless camera, this is my trusty Sony NEX C3, okay. and the lens comes off, so with a clip, there's lens off. The sensors are exposed, so the warning is, of course, don't get dust on your sensor. Don't, don't a, touch the sensor. Don't touch it, nope. Don't, Definitely don't touch don't the touch sensor. Don't touch the inside of the lenses. Nope. Be real careful. Yes. The guts of my camera are exposed, be careful, do this best in a lab, you know, in, in a closed environment. Okay. Vacuum your room first. What are we doing? But the tip is, normally the, the lens goes on the sensor like this. Okay. If I take the lens off and put it and flip it around, okay. I can actually get really cool macro photos. But your world photos. is flipped and turned upside down? No, the world isn't actually upside down. It just, instead of zooming in, it is actually just a macro lens. So, so gonna, for example, I'm gonna take a macro photo of your eyeball. Cool. And uh, what you have to do on some cameras actually- Oh my is god, actually... that's so close. Oh, there it goes, it's a long shutter. I've got an aperture priority. You're touching my eyeball. Oh. Well, you do, have, you have to try it a couple times, and my recommendation is to put it on a continuous shutter mode, so you can just hold down the shutter button. Okay. And keep on taking photos. Um, you do lose all your autofocus, all your- uh, uh, Everything lens... that makes the lens smart. Exactly. Any kind of stabilization, yes. autofocus, yep. exposure stuff. All your settings are locked in. Okay. from when you take the lens off. Also, on some cameras, most cameras that have interchangeable lenses, you have to enable in the menu a mode that will let you actually snap the shutter without the lens being attached, because oh, okay. there's no direct there's attachment. safety or something. Usually. Exactly, okay. yeah, so enable safety, use a continuous shot mode, have it on a tripod, that's my recommendation. What does continuous shot mode do? You just hold down the, sh the button, and it'll oh, and just, take, keep shooting pictures. keep on shooting pictures. So there's no movement when you exactly. press the shutter. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then also, uh, because you're holding two things, use a tripod, that's my recommendation. Okay. But you take really cool photos of, you know, objects that stand still, yeah. ideally. Static objects, even like With ants and bugs animals and, and bugs and leaves, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Back of your hand. Exactly. And of Very course, cool. uh, the warning from before applies, don't touch the inside of your lens or your sensor. Bad things can happen. Exactly. So that's the tip of the day for Tester and I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys later. Bye.